Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode of the series Vaccaro Fountain Pens. If you are here for the first time, Vaccaro is a German firm that produces fountain pens. And I'm not so sure that they are produced in Germany. I suspect they are produced by a Chinese manufacturer, specially branded for the Vaccaro German firm. So I have all the fountain pens in this box. I must tell you that I bought them used. And now it is the turn of another beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. As I see it, it is almost in NOS, never used condition. Let me show it to you guys because it has an interesting, interesting design. So you can see it is a multifaceted fountain pen, definitely a heavy fountain pen, a metallic pen, heavily, heavily gold plated. And it has also those sides which are painted in this green green motif like a marble marble motif you can see it is a multifaceted one you see the cap a multifaceted one it ends in a strange cylindrical ring to it and it continues with the same multifaceted uh, part till the end of the body but interesting the end of the body it is also cylindrical it has this black plastic and it ends flat in this gold plated metallic part also the cap ends in uh, this uh, column like a Greek column and it has a beautiful beautiful fake black jewel or uh, maybe just a simple plastic b black part slightly rounded at the end quite quite a nice nice piece the clip is quite interesting and functional and we see we have a pressure fit cap it reveals a large, large grip section, which ends in this metallic part. It has also a ring very good for the grip position. And it is fitted with a steel nib on it engraved Iridium Point, Germany. Although we have Germany engraved on the nib, I believe that this is a steel nib made in China. At the back of it, we have a feeder. On the feeder, we have thermically engraved a number six if you read it like this so number six or if you read it like this a number nine quite quite a nice piece and i suspect that the ending of the barrel this cylindrical part is made in order for it to post so post it looks quite quite beautiful this is a fountain pen that uses ink cartridges or ink converters one of the things that i don't like about uh, this design is the fact that although we have a metallic part here this remains plastic you must know that this part here is quite vulnerable and probably you can see that we have signs already we have signs of use Although I think that this fountain pen was probably never inked. So, guys, what can I tell you? I will um, leave its uh, dimensions on the screen. And I will pre we will prepare for the writing sample. And um, again, I will change the angle of the camera, guys, for you to see better the writing sample so let me put okay this is better let me zoom out guys okay so i will leave the fountain pen here the beautiful fountain pen here i will take the box out of the picture and right here i will put the notepad 
uh, right up there we have the writing sample with uh, another Vaccaro model from last week and for this week guys I thought to myself that I will use a green international ink cartridge to match the beautiful beautiful color of the barrel and of the cap so without further delay let me open it and I will place it right over here okay let me give you a little zoom guys to see what I'm doing here I'm just applying pressure and because this is the first time I will use this fountain pen I need to see if we have some ink we must wait in order for the ink to reach the grip section and the feeder and the nib and uh, the gravity force will help us but we, if we don't have time we can also uh, hurry it up hurry the process up by applying pressure to this cartilage and I'm just squeezing it be careful guys when you squeeze it because you can uh, crack it and make a mess of uh, it so I'm trying to get the ink to reach the grip section and to travel down to the feeder and to the nib and yes you can see it reached the nib maybe I can write with it and yes I think we have a go guys okay let me put back the barrel and now let me put back the cap so another Vaccaro product I suspect that it was made in China made in China for the German firm Vaccaro for the German Vaccaro firm okay I did not tell you the price so I bought it second hand and I paid for it 50 lays or the equivalent of 10.13 euros or 9.85 American dollars it is fitted with a steel nib steel nib gold plated nib gold plated engraved on it we have iridium point germany iridium point germany and what can i say judging by the way it writes i believe we have an m for a medium nib mm, okay now let me test it uh, to see if we have some flex to this nib this thin nib and as i was expecting no flex i don't know how juicy this nib is hmm, a medium juice now i will uh, see if we have some line variance so here no pressure and here i start applying pressure and no visible line variance two more tests before the fox now i'm testing it if we can do a signature with it and yes it is a go and let's see if we can reverse write with it reverse writing so i don't say we can reverse write with it because it scratches a little bit so maybe for short sessions but again it scratches and it even loses its ink flow so no reverse writing capability but now let me tell you about the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog what can i say to you guys an interesting pan yeah, a metallic pen, not such a heavy pen, but a beautiful, beautiful, elegant writer. As a writer, I think it performs mm, good. It does not have the reverse writing capability, and sometimes you need to push 
harder on it so guys this is the magic of the fountain pen you should glide with it you should ride with it without applying pressure and sometimes this fountain pen needs a little bit of pressure to move on but don't get me wrong i think it's a good uh, pen and if you find it for around 10 euros or 10 uh, american dollars you should buy it because it's quite an elegant elegant piece what can I say to you guys? Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this episode. I want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are, my friends. I will see you again next Monday with another beautiful Vaccaro model. Till then, bye-bye and God bless, my friends.